Hi, folks. This is Alan Thick. They used to call me America's favorite dad. Right now, I just want to be your favorite. You uneducated moron. Thanks for calling our corporate travel office. You're worthless this and uninteresting. Has been overwhelmingly popular, so we ask for your patience. Hello, sir. So, how are sir? you guys doing? Hello, sir. Yes. Hi, my name is Bartholomew. I'm actually one of the supervisors. How can I help you? I want to go through the things that you are accused of, and some of them you may agree to, and some you may not. So I'm just going to let you respond. Who are you? Drew Peterson. Drew You've Peterson, sir? Yes. Your phone cut out, so I just couldn't hear you. I apologize. Your phone cut out. You said Drew Peterson, correct? Yes. You've taken okay. money from people under fraudulent circumstances across state lines. How so? What are you, an attorney? Yes. You are breaking the law. Are you representing somebody, or are you calling just because you're frustrated in a situation? I mean, because you're not giving me any facts. You're just, you're just kind of making accusations. Why are you in Greg's business? Why am I in what? You send harassing emails from fake accounts to Greg's uh, cell phone. No, we're not sending any emails out to anybody's telephone, sir. You're talking. We, the, the number that you dialed is Caribbean Cruise Line. We've been here 25 years. Yes. We're and bonded. We travel 4,500 people a week, and we're the official ship of the international port in Port Micaiah. You, you can't do those things and be those things unless you're making people happy. I don't know what you're talking about harassing emails. We don't you understand. Emails any you understand you got a real credibility problem here. What I How are your finances is I going? On the phone who claims to be Drew Peterson, who's an attorney, making some implications and without any factual information. That's what yes. I understand so far. Now, I'd like to speak intelligently with you, but without facts and figures, I really can't do that. How are your finances problem. going? What's that again? How are your finances going? I'm not sure exactly what the what the what the uh, importance of that question is, or what the basis. Of the Answer question. the question. Well, first of all, I don't even know who you are. Did it occur Did to you that you can go to jail? No, uh, you know what, Mr. Peterson. If that's even your real name, your idle threats mean absolutely nothing to me. Okay, I work for a reputable cruise line. I'm a ten-year tenured employee. So, you know, don't make idle threats to me. If your son or yourself got a text, blast text messaging is one of the fastest growing media sources out there. A lot of companies are out there doing it. Our company, what we do is we give away free cruises to a variety of customers to what they call a piggyback transfer. So if your son or yourself dialed a phone number and then you were transferred to us, that's what we're doing. We're piggybacking that number to give away a free cruise to promote one of the most popular cruise ships here out of South Florida, Broward County, the Bahamas Celebration. You are part of the problem. Whether I've been to jail has to do with that. No, you are part jail, of the problem. You are not could be part better. of the I'm solution. I'm raising two kids. I can always use a few more nickels. But if we get into another one of these yelling things, I'm done. I'm sorry, I, and that's this did. I ain't going to do it. You are part of the problem. You are not part of the solution. What problem are you talking about? You jack with me, and you'll be gone before you know it. I, sir, you know what, man? You, you, you don't scare me with your idle words. That, that, that doesn't, you know what I mean? I, you, maybe are you impressing somebody behind you while you're talking all tough? You're stupid. Listen, tough, 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 tough is nose to nose. That's tough where I come from. You know what I mean? Anything else is just conjecture. And you're an attorney, so you should know what that word means. You're worthless and uninteresting. That, that's okay. I, I'm not in a popularity contest, but I'm certainly not going to let some foul mouth slick talk in person, call my call center, and be disrespectful to my representative or myself without any basis for that. You don't have the balls. To do what? You crazy bitch, I'm going to take you down. You don't have the, I don't have the balls to do what? I know that you're a drunk. Do you have a drinking problem? Oh. No, sir, I don't, I, I don't drink alcohol. If you start that crap on no, I do me, occasionally, I, do I will walk have a cigar, you. But that's about the extent of my extracurricular activities. 
you oh, I start lied. that. I'm sorry, I did have a dress campaign on uh, New Year's Eve, and I did have some wine with I my don't mom care about that. I nice restaurant, but I don't really drink alcohol as a regular. I don't like beers. It tastes crappy. I don't care about that. You uneducated moron. So what is it? I'm an uneducated moron, or I'm a drunk? What are you so pissed off about? Where are you? Am I, am I being punked? Am I on Canada Camber here somewhere? You got a real credibility problem here. You have a credibility problem. I don't know who you are. You're full of shit as far as I'm concerned. Let's call it like it is. Let me ask you a question. See, what you are, are you, you gay? Call fake. You're fake. You're calling up using a fictitious name. You're making implications that I'm a drunk, that we're got credibility issues, that we're scamming people. Yes. You, know what? you don't even know what you're talking about. I don't even think you know who where you're calling to. You're just, you know what? Maybe you're the drunk. Have you been drinking this morning, sir? Yes. Okay. Well, it's, it sounds like it. It's, it, sounds, it sounds like you're upset, and viably so if you have a viable reason to be upset. But to call a corporation and make a bunch of implications and insinuations based upon no facts, to me, is juvenile and unprofessional. So if you're an attorney, you're not a very good one. Have a good day, sir.